What's up? Today's video is going to be something a little new. I'm going to be talking about a couple things that make me feel some type of way, especially being an artist. Okay, let me just set the scene for you. I'm sitting there in the lobby of my university before I have to go to art class, and I have a piece of paper flat on the table right in front of me, and I'm drawing, holding a pencil, literally in my hands, drawing. And someone walks up to me and says, dude, that painting is so sick. Did you draw that? Me sitting there with a pencil in my hand, drawing on the actual drawing, answers, yeah, of course, why would I not be drawing what I'm working on? So this actually happens a lot more often than you would think. I don't know what the thought process is when you see someone working on a piece and you go up to them and ask, hey, did you draw that? Like, no, I bought this from Etsy and I'm dragging my pencil all over it to impress people. As a kind of nice person, I don't want to just insult them or be like crazy rude, but it's kind of awkward to nicely explain to someone that the piece of art that you're literally working on is your own art. Like, it's kind of insulting. Do you not think that I possess the skills to make the piece of art that I'm working on like right now? I really just don't understand how this situation is even confusing for anyone, but if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. So this next one is really if you're showing your artwork to someone, but anyways, they just look at your art and they say, wow, that's really good. I wish I was that talented. Okay, first of all, this has nothing to do with raw talent. I understand that not everyone is good at art, but at the same time, drawing and painting, or whatever you do, is going to take a lot of practice. For instance, I'm naturally talented in art, but I didn't just get good at drawing. It took four to five years of drawing every single day to get even remotely close to good at it. So it bugs me to no end when someone just walks up to me and they're like, Dude, that's so sick. Like, I wish I was that talented. Like, for real, I did not just wake up someday as some art superhero. It takes many years of practice, just like getting good at anything else. You don't just wake up one day good. Basically, don't go up to someone and say, what you're doing is so cool. I wish I could be like you. Like, I wish I had that kind of talent. You don't fully understand what it means to have that talent. There's so much more to it than that. Many artists are pulling from like deep within themselves. So their art is them working through personal problems that you really don't want to have. So I think people just see the green grass of being an artist and they're just like, wow, that's so great. I wish I could do it. But in reality, being able to do it also comes with this uh, internal struggle that you're going through, which is something that's very difficult to deal with. And many artists are just trying to deal with these problems. And that's what their art is. You're seeing them progress through dealing with something that they're going through. So the last one is you're hanging out somewhere, you're at a, a bar or a cafe, and you just got your sketchbook out and you're drawing for fun. You're drawing a leaf on a table or a walnut just sitting there. And some guy comes up to you and says, hey man, you want to draw me? And you just look at him and think, not really. I was having a lot of fun drawing this walnut or whatever. So this is a really hard one. I know people are just trying to have fun, you know, start a conversation, but I feel like I basically have anxiety, so people will ask me to draw people a portrait or something, and I am very bad at drawing portraits. Like, so bad. I've taken two-figure drawing classes, and I can draw bodies, and I can draw hands, and I can draw feet, I can draw anything, but I cannot draw faces. So when someone asks me to, I'm just like, absolutely not. I cannot do that. Um, please stop talking to me. You know, my hands are sweating. Like, what's even going on? There's not really a good way to solve this because it's completely the reaction on my part as the artist. And, you know, us artist people, we are, we are just fragile. We're fragile little people. And uh, the smallest things just stir us up like Kool-Aid. <laughs> If you got anything valuable out of this video, leave a like. That would be really cool. And uh, if you didn't, you know, don't don't dislike it because it hurts my feelings. And remember, I'm fragile.